What's going on, Mila Nation? Joe's Nico uh, with a pre recorded uh, pre game report on today's game versus Calgary. All right. Uh, so, could we recap, we won our last game, obviously, over at Madrid 3 uh, 1. But more importantly, like I said during our last post game, now that we're going to need to focus on the next few Serie A games, we got Calgary, we got Juve, um, big matches, right? Close that gap, so you try to get that top four spot. So, as much as we want to enjoy that victory versus Madrid, let's see how our squad, our glorious club, all right, and Pablo too, how we perform. All right, can we go on a winning streak, or do we go back to winning one, losing one, win one, win one, lose one, back and forth, back and forth, right? We need to see some consistency from this club. All right, but let's jump into the game. So we're playing Calgary today. Um, Calgary does set up at a 4-2-3-1 as well. Looks like according to Fatma, they're going with Scufet, Zappa, Palomino, Luporto, Agudo, um, Macumbo, Viola, um, Zoriti, Catano, Lovombo, and Piccoli up top. Uh, we're going with Mike. Emerson Royale, Chow, Tamori, Hernandez, Lufana, Tijan, Liao, Pulisic, Chucky, and Kamada. All right. Our promising player, Kamada, has got his first start, looks like, under uh, Fonseca being that. Well, not they got injured in training from our Serbian mercenary, Pavlovich. That being said, um, in terms of injuries and suspensions, uh, Kagri has two suspended players, Yaramini. And Mikhail Nati Adopo is both suspended. We don't have any suspension. We do have four players out currently. We have Florenzi still out, Gabia, Benny, and Morata with the head injury. In terms of team form, um, we won our last two games. Can we make that three total? And they've lost the last three games uh, against Udinese, uh, Bologna, and Lazio. So let's see if we can 
continue um, putting Calgary in a bad spot, right, and, and give them a fourth straight loss. Right. Most importantly is getting to tactics. So tactical-wise, um, from from Sika's point of view, from Milan's point of view, I'm curious to see if we go uh, back to that high press, right, and that high line that we've seen in the past, where we're either playing man-to-man, -man, uh, hybrid or zonal, right, or we're going to drop directly back into a mid-black, that 4-2-4 mid-black that we've seen as well. Or are we going to drop back in that low block, which I doubt that we saw against Madrid? We're not probably not going to see it against this team. Um, I think from Sega's going to go back to what he's done in the past in Syria. Um, but that might come and bite us, being that offensively under David Nicolo, um, Calgary does counter, does counter like most of these mid level, mid table, lower table teams in Syria, right? They're not, they don't have the most, you know, uh, dynamic players as a team. They're very technical. They're very well prepared, really, very well tactically prepared to play in Syria. Because Dave Nicola has been around the league for a while, you know, for a while. He's a very experienced coach, knows the league. Um, so, tactically, in that point, it'll be interesting how Fonseca matches with that point of view. All right. So, we'll keep an eye for that if you do decide to go with a high press. Uh, let's keep an eye for it, especially if we're playing that rest defense when we have the ball in position. If Everson Royale and Theo are able to recover in time, I don't have a problem with Theo. If he's, if he's motivated, he'll be able to recover and then kind of close that, that counter attack down a little bit, help out on the, on the back line. But my concern is Royale being he doesn't have the pace. And all the time he does, doesn't get back in time, and that's where they're hitting us on that right side of the field. In that case, Fofana's going to drop back as well, which if he's on his game, which last game against Madrid, he wasn't. Uh, Musa stepped up in that game big time. Um, let's see if, you know, are they able to take advantage of our players in that position or we can actually be tax prepared and prevent those counterattacks today, All right? So that's, that's the one thing we should look at as well. Um, also, Calgary is known to really good at counter pressing and recovering balls high up the pitch as well all right so according to some stats here that I pulled up from tfa total football analysis really good ball aggression um they do a very aggressive approach in terms of ball recovery they recover a lot of balls high up the pitch, especially outside the 18 yard box and inside that, that danger zone, right? As well. So in terms of danger recovery leading to a shot within 20 seconds, they do have quite a lot and their counter press and recovery within five seconds after possession is lost is even higher. They have 82 counter press and recoveries and 15 dangerous recoveries when this report came out. So they have some good numbers, so that's what let's see for our, our um, if we're going to be playing out of the back, playing that position style football that Fonseca likes, or are we going to use, you know, have Mike try to go over the top and hit up Leal and Pulisic up top and come out as well. That's an interesting uh, thing to look at tactically as well, right, to prevent uh, Calgary from, you know, um, getting the ball after the hit pitch and you know getting high quality shots on goal on Mike. In terms of stat wise, and this is what was going to leads into this next um, segment real quick. It's from FD ref recoveries. Like I just said before, Calgary does have a lot of recoveries. Um, totally they have 436 recoveries to our Milan 338, so almost 100 more ball recoveries. So that's, they have the edge as well on that side of the field. In terms of aerial duels, it's tied. We're at 52, they're at 52%. So that's gonna be a really interesting matchup is aerial duels on these, those crosses and the set pieces, especially. All right, let's see how Milan's able to um, deal, most importantly, with their 
high aggressive counter pressing. All right, it's a big one today, fellas, and and ladies as well. Anybody listening to the show? And that's it. This is a big, you know, tactical um, dive I wanted to take today on this pregame uh, in terms of, um, you know, making a prediction. I don't like making predictions, but I think if um, Fonseca plays it smart and doesn't play into their game, into their strengths, Calgary, especially on the defensive side, and then uses Mike's, you know, passing range, his vision, um, we should be able to come out with, with the victory. It's not going to be a blowout, but I, I see a good 2 1 victory. All right. But if we're trying to play that position style football and we're to be full into Cadre's trap and they're, they're recovering the balls high up the pitch, it's going to be a long day for us. All right. And let's see how we set up defensively as well, most importantly. And can we slow down their counterattacks? All right, Milan Nation, that's all I got. And let's um, Forza Milan, always Forza Paolo, always. All right. All right, Milan Nation, enjoy today's game and keep an eye out for our live post game show later on today. All right. Take it easy.